It looks like a fresh haircut. Yeah, fresh haircut. What's that signify? It means I mean business. for fun I'm here to get a job done and that's really all that Ironman Arizona is about it's been a rather interesting year with some interesting setbacks for me it actually was really hard for me to turn things around and decide to show up at Ironman Arizona here yeah I, I very nearly called it a season but then I pulled the Britney Spears I shaved the head I got a rattlesnake and I said, I'm going to go race Arizona. I do think I'm one of the best 70.3 athletes, but I have room to go in the Ironman. So it's kind of learning. It's seeing where I'm at. The question is if I uh, suck or if I can actually just race to my normal potential. Yeah, life is still pretty good. So nothing to complain about. It's like a 23 now. That's so tiny, it looks isn't it? tiny. <gasps> Don't tell the age groupers you've been riding on a 23 mil. <laughs> I'm an embarrassment to sport. <laughs> Okay, 25 do I people, it's okay. <laughs> you said you were smoking a pack a day. Yeah, pack a day. So disgusting. What made the change, like? Remember um, that moment? I just went to visit some friends up in Queensland. They were going to watch their friend do a triathlon, the Noosa Triathlon. And that was a life-changing moment for me. I was just watching the race and thought, gosh, everyone looks so happy. And there's like old people and young people and big people and small people. Maybe in 12 months time, I could have a go at doing this triathlon. And so I did, and it changed my life. <laughs> I'm like four years pro now. Old Renee Kiley was 104 kilos, smoking a pack of cigarettes a day, pretty unhealthy. New Renee is a full-time oh. professional triathlete, really happy and really fulfilled. <laughs> triathlon and I'm switching to golf. <laughs> Chase, come. You want to show how do you pump up the tires? Come on. So you held the record in Kona as an age trooper. Yeah, I set the record in 2013. It was one of my goals when I started the sport. And then I uh, held it for five years. I actually didn't think it was, you know, I thought I might have it for a bit longer, but records are meant to be broken. I still look back at that, that amazing day. I think 2013 was just a breakthrough year. I mean, it was awesome to accomplish such a thing. I'm more like the long course um, that's, you know, fight it out for eight hours. But yeah, I definitely think I can that go up against someone like Sam. I still think Iron Man is that diesel engine, you know, can, who can hold on for and push that pain for eight hours or just below eight hours. Things have shifted a lot because, you know, you always saw back in the day with the likes of Craig Alexander and Chris McCormack and, you know, they were winning races at, you know, 38, 40 even. And now, now it's changed. 25, 26 is the new. I've had some... I think some great success from, you know, no endurance background whatsoever. And I only started the sport at 25, so pretty happy with the career. Um, yeah, and hoping to end this year with a solid result on, on Sunday at Ironman Arizona. Run that don't video this place. No, I'm not. So you, so you run out that way. There's a dirt, it's like a fresh dirt path. You loop around, you come back this way, you run down that way. There's a little out and back there. And it used to go back through this park here. We'll, we'll see it when we go that way. And then you go this way. 
This is Andrew Lewis, my husband. I'm Danielle. We uh, are here down at Tempe Town Park and going to ride around on the run course on some scooters. My first one was Ironman Texas and that was in April. I learned some lessons the hard way. I started cramping about mile 60 on the bike and then um, things kind of went downhill on the run, turned into like a run, walk, do whatever you can to get yourself to the finish line. But I've learned lessons, so I'm applying those lessons to this. I've been putting in a lot of really good work. I'm as fit as I've ever been. I'm swimming faster than I've ever swam, which is important. I know Sky is favorited. We've got Lauren Brandon in the field. Sarah True is out there, so it'll be a lot of fun just to kind of see how I stack up. Trying to go for a Kona slot. Yes, I would love to get a Kona slot. Thank you.